Amelia Bedelia and her parents were coming home from the park. They drove by a sign. Amelia Bedelia's mother shouted, Put over, put over. Amelia Bedelia looked out her window. She did not see a pullover sweater. She did see lots of stuff for sale. All the stuff was spread out in someone's front yard. Amelia Bedelia's mother jumped out of the car. Mom loves garage sales, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Is she buy a new garage? asked Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's father shook his head. No, but we could use another garage just to hold all the stuff she buys at garage sales, he said. Amelia Bedelia's mother bought, brought back two treasures. She handed a book to Amelia Bedelia. She tossed a sweater to Amelia Bedelia's father. It's a pullover, she said. Is that the one you saw from the car? said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's father had already put the sweater over his head. Did you hear, Saturday, hear about the big garage sale next Saturday? He's he said, Where? asked Amelia Bedelia's mother. At our house, he said, Let's get rid of our clutter. We need to weed out. For the next week, Amelia Bedelia and her parents sorted through the things they had not used in years. By Saturday, they were ready for their own direct sale, except for one thing. Amelia Bedelia was not happy about their sign. You can't sell our garage, said Amelia Bedelia. Where will our car sleep? Plus the garage matches our house. Oh, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We'd never sell our garage. Let's try a different sign, different idea, said Amelia Bedelia's father. He held up a new sign. Is this better? No, wailed Amelia Bodilia. That is worse. I love our yard even more than our garage. Okay, we will not sell either one, said Amelia Bodilia's mother. We will just sell things we put in the yard. People began stopping to look. It got crowded fast. Amelia Bodilia's parents were busy. Amelia Bodilia helped too. Nice sewing machine, said a woman. Can you throw in a yardstick? Sure, said Amelia Bodilia. She ran behind the garage. There was a pile, of, a big pile of leaves and sticks there. She got many sticks that she could carry. Here you go, said Amelia Bodilia. These sticks are from our yard. Pick one, I'll throw it in. The lady laughed. Uh, I am looking for a yard stick that is 36 inches long. Amelia Bedelia grabbed a tall ruler from a messy box of stuff. She used it to measure the longest stick. This one is exactly 36 inches, she said. Perfect, said the woman. If I buy the sewing machine, will you throw in that ruler too? I will hand it to you. It's a deal, said the woman. She looked around the yard. I am making a curtain. I am making curtains, she said. I will need yards of fabric. Yards, said Amelia Bodilia. That is a lot of fabric. That would cover up mom's flowers. The flowers are beautiful, said the woman. I love to buy some of her plants. You can, said Amelia Bodilia. My dad says you are weeding out everything in the yard for sale. Amelia Bodilia found a shovel. She dug up some plants for the woman. By the end of the day, everything was sold. Amelia Bodilia's parents were shocked to see a ho the holes in their yard. Amazing, said Amelia Bodilia's father. At our yard sale, even the yard got sold. 
Amelia Bodilia's mother sighed. Who will buy the yard? She asked. A nice lady, said Amelia Bodilia. She does everything by the yard. Well, said Amelia Bodilia's mother. My plants will grow back soon. I do like getting rid of clutter. It makes things easier to find. The only thing I want to find is a pizza, said Amelia Bodilia's father. On the way to the pizza place, they passed another sign. And this time, Amelia Bodilia's mother did not say a single word.